Onchip is excited to announce formal release management and approval workflows. Building on the foundation of Design Data Management 2.0, formal release management and approval workflows give your company a complete product release process that is integrated directly within Onchip. So how does it work? Let's take a look. You'll find the details for release management under your company's account settings as an admin or owner. To turn on release management, simply click Onshape Default Workflows. There are two workflows for your product release process with release management, the release workflow and a workflow for obsoleting designs. You can then specify a revision scheme, where you can choose a simple 1-2-3 revision scheme method or an ABC method skipping I, O, Q, S, X, and Z. Also available in release management is automated sequential part number generation. With a tool to build your part numbering scheme graphically, it's easy to create something that matches your company's standard. Finally, as an admin or owner of a company, you can specify various access options, release conditions, as well as various release dialog options. All it takes is a few minutes to set these options and you are ready to go. No complicated client or server installations and nothing to maintain. And you can even add more users on the fly in just a few minutes. Releasing a design is simple. To create a release candidate, simply right click on whatever it is that you want to release. You can create a release candidate that includes configurations, parts, assemblies, drawings, imported files, or any combination of these things. So, for instance, if you right click a part in a part studio, choose release, this will create a release candidate for just that one part. If you want to add more to the release candidate, simply click the plus icon and add more. You can even select an individual configuration of a part and release that either independently or as part of a larger release candidate. This is something that old PDM systems simply cannot do because these systems manage data at the file level. In Onshape, you can even release an entire assembly by simply right clicking the tab. When creating a release candidate, there are a few things to keep in mind. You can assign part numbers either manually or via the automated part number generation options mentioned earlier. Part numbers must be unique, so you'll not be able to type in a part number that has already been used. You can also view the state, edit any revision information, and search through your release candidate. But most importantly, at the bottom, you can type in a release name and list any approvers. The approvers listed are responsible for approving the release candidate. You can require all approvers to approve before a design can be released or just one of the approvers. You can also add release notes and an observer that will be notified. After the release candidate is created, click Submit and the necessary people are notified both via email and with a notification right inside of Onshape. As the final approver, I can review the release and decide whether to release it or reject the release candidate. You can see that the state has now moved to pending in our workflow. As the final approver, if I click Release, the release candidate is accepted, revisions will increment, and everything moves to the next state in the workflow, the released state. With the design now released, we can see the impact throughout Onshape. In versions and history, released designs will show as a solid triangle, whereas pending and rejected designs will show as a hollow triangle. The same goes for the insert dialog. When inserting, you will see the same solid and hollow triangles, making it easy to find and insert a design at the state that you're looking for. The insert dialog also has a new filter for released designs, which will show you only what has been released, meaning you won't mistakenly insert something before it's ready. You can also make a design obsolete by simply right clicking. Obsolete designs cannot be inserted into the assembly or drawing so you can't mistakenly insert something that has been made obsolete. With Onshape's formal release management and approval workflows, your company now has a complete release management process built right into Onshape, so there's no need for a separate PDM environment, you'll never be blocked by files that need to be checked in or out, and there's absolutely zero IT required to set up and maintain release management at Onshape.